Our story continues with La Wei starts the fiery pit where she prepared a survival game for them. She will start with Dami's story and the first game is confession. They have to confess their sins in Dami's death to stay alive. She gives them a second choice if confessing is hard. He can reveal each other's sins. Du Hayek discovers her plan when he sees the cameras. Mai Yang Ji uncovers Yiran's sin that she made a fake pregnancy diagnosis and tricked everyone that Dami was pregnant. While Yiran uncovers Mai Yang Ji's sin that she made a fake statement that Dami gave birth to hide her affair. Jin Mo uncovers Cholu's sin that he turned an innocent citizen into a drug-addicted murderer. While Cholu uncovers Jin Mo's sin that he created the fake news. La Wei untied their handcuffs. They start fighting each other. While Chan Sung meets Moan, he discovers that La Wei put a time bomb in her car. They can survive. In La Wei's survival game, she declares that the basement jail will blow in five minutes because of a time bomb, and one person can survive. And in order to escape from that room, he must kill the other with gun first. However, she doesn't intend to let them go. She stands with a gun behind the door, waiting the one who survived to shoot him. Moan pops up, holding a gun, and shoots La Hui in her leg. She gets shocked when she sees that La Hui has an artificial limb. Chan Sung pops up and helps Moan escape from the fiery pit because the bomb will blow up. K and five minions manage to escape from the place, leaving La Hui on the floor. She waits for her death. She sees Du Hai crawling on the floor. She helps him to go outside the place, and then she shuts the door, and the bomb blows up. K and minions walk up at the hospital. They think that Du Hai died in the explosion, while they think how to save themselves from the live broadcast. Chan Sung appears and comforts them that he didn't broadcast their confessions, but he has their confessions, and shocks them that Du Hai is alive. However, he cannot find him. Chan Sung threatens them that he has their confessions, so the minions have to do anything to him. Saves company spreads videos of La Wei hitting Dami and branded her as an abusive mother. The CEO of Save and Tiki Taka, Chan Sung, and Matthew joined the press conference about the terror attack in the Kajak district and La Wei was the one behind that attack. K offers to resign from the CEO position and cooperate with the police in their investigation. As Moan is afraid of Chan Sung, she brings Jul Su and Yuran to live with her at La Wei's house, pretending that they have no home to stay. Yuran receives a message that her balance is 5 million and then zero. She calls the loan shark who lent her the money. It's turned that La Wei has paid her debt and that makes Yuran think that La Wei had plan to die in the attack. Elsewhere, Du Hayek wakes up at the hospital. Moan comes to meet Du Hayek. She learns that her brother died in place of Jun So can La Wei save her mother, but Chan Sung found out and took her away. Moan is ragged that Chan Sung hid that her mother is still alive. Du Hayek tells her that La Wei who saved him in the attack and La Wei might have changed. Moan cannot listen more so she leaves. Jin Mo discovers that La Wei found out Hannah's place and kept her safe instead of telling Kei. Meanwhile, Mai Yun Ji thinks that La Wei might have regretted and Hannah reminded her of her daughter Dami. Kitok takes La Hui's ashes to Dami's grave. He sends a text about La Hui's burial to the minions. They all attend. Du Hayek says that her death wasn't in vain. 